just a good old boy, never meaning no harm. You see the theme I'm going for. Hey folks, well, this is what stage I'm up to. Uh, not much has happened. Um, been waiting on parts, man. Jeez, I tell you. I'll fill you in a bit more when they finally arrive, but man, not good. Um, got some foot pegs on. Some uh, spangly ruckus stickers. Um, as you can see, I went for the black frame in the end. Um, this is where my checker plate ended up. Um, we don't have absolute perfect weather like uh, California or Florida or whatever. So I've uh, got to stop the spray on my backside somehow. Um, went for this plastic cover here. Um, it looks a lot tidier. Some handlebars um, from a German crowd. They were pretty cheap. Um, and the uh, handlebar mount, I suppose you call that. I think it was off eBay. Um, cheap and really good quality actually. I was um, quite chuffed but it took forever to get here. Um, speedo. Ooh, let's get the camera on that. It's a Koso, it's for an enduro motocross bike. Um, no rev counter, but I don't think you really need it on this because it's a CVT transmission that you don't really need a rev counter. But it has an hour meter, which is good, and you can program in your service intervals um, on kilometers as well as hours. So that's quite good if you want to do an all change after. Uh, 20 hours or 50 hours or whatever it might be so that's cool and uh, yeah we are waiting on parts to arrive I didn't like the color uh, of the plastics of the whole bike when I first got it, it was like a like a, a sea blue it was yeah aqua I think they called it so um, we've decided to go General Lee Dukes of Hazard it's either that or the 18. You can tell what era I grew up in, eh? So anyway. Leaving the stock indicators and brake lights on, I think, uh, yeah, it looks a bit chunky, but I kind of like that sort of industrial look. Next video will come when I have some parts.